Hey guys, it's Apocalyptic Pictures here, um, and this is my first redstone tutorial. I told you they'd be coming, and this is basically just on the basics. I said basics like twice in my sentence. But, um, redstone, you collect it by hitting redstone, or what you found deep underground, and you place it, it looks like wires, kind of. And, uh,. My wolf is kind of getting in the way. Um, just sit still. Um, yep, beta 1.4 is up, if you haven't seen my video. Um, redstone, okay, so redstone basically has two things, uh, two settings. Uh, powered and unpowered. Black is the unpowered state, red is the powered state. Uh, redstone torches give an automatic, always signal for power. Switches are opposite, you opposite them to get power. Pressure plates, if you're standing on it, it has power. Oh, actually, don't want to lose my good pressure plate. Um, and buttons, if it feeds into the block directly with the button on it on the opposite side, when you hit the button, forever long it's pushed in for, it will have power. Okay. So, and that's the basic things of redstone. I need some dirt here. Should we have something to grab any? Sorry about that, people. I don't want to see me collecting dirt to show you stuff. Alright, right now, I'm only going to show you... Not, I'm not going to show you any... Um, uh, what's the word for it? Any gates, but I'm just going to show you like some basic things. So, um, say you have power like this, running, and say you're your power source. But, over here, you're trying to create a contraption, and you need this over here to be powered, but this over here did not be powered, then it would be like this. You put this a block here, and the power will be directly feeding into this, which will make this block powered. And then if you put a redstone torch on the other side, it would then since the block is already powered, this torch is not powered. Oh, this torch is not powered, which means that this line is not powered. But if you were to break this torch, as you can see, it becomes powered. Um it's useful when you use like AND gates or um, other different types of gates, which I'll teach you how to use later. Um, this is like I said, it's just basics, just tutorial one. All the stuff that you, no matter what, will need if you need if you ever decide to do redstone wiring. Okay, uh, redstone wiring I think goes up to 15 blocks. Let's see here. Okay, half your wolf, you're in the way. I like the new wolf update, but they really get in the way. Okay, yeah, let's see. Um, that's about as much as you can get. But say you need to get farther, what you do is either you would make a redstone, you need to make a repeater. Which I think I'm doing this right. I don't think I made one yet. I'm not sure. No, I'm definitely not doing that. Um, maybe like this. Yes, no, no, that's just an inverter still. Crap, uh, made this before. I think it's like this, maybe? Yes, 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 it is. So, it would carry along like this. Um, say we have our switch here. See, as you see, they're all powered off, all powered on, all powered off, all powered on. And that's it. basically, it's called a repeater. It just allows you to get more wiring in. But uh, most people are building do these underground because they don't like to see it. So if you want to, if you're trying to conserve space, um, you could use two inverters like this. So it would be an inverter, it would invert your power. Then it would be another inverter, which would invert your power again. So here's your lever. It's off, and you want it to be on. So you want this to be on. This will, no matter what, be on, and then what happens is that this will be off also. So when you hit the switch, it'll go ahead and be like that, and it's basically the same thing as a repeater, except you're using two inverters, which doesn't take up the double high space, so it's easier to hide underground. And with this, you can make some pretty simple double doors. Um, mainly, you're going to use this for like traps, or like making steel doors and stuff. Um, 
No, you're gonna you're gonna want to use. There's no point really using this for wooden doors, so you're gonna want steel doors for it, I believe. Yes, yes. Um, so let's go ahead and say my door is here and here. Um, pretty easy, like I said. Um, see the wiring will go down and it'll feed down like this. And it'll feed down like this. See? And say I had a redstone torch right here. Oh, oops. Redstone torch right here. See? Now it's powered, but as you can see, the doors are opposited. So what you would need to do is just make a simple little inverter towards the block that. towards the one that's open. And. voila! Now they're both open. And take it off. Both closed. Both open. Both closed, both open. Um, cool thing you can use this, I guess, would be, and you don't have to have it feed directly into the door. That I I just did like that so you can see it better. You could actually just have it like this, have it feed into the block of the door. But don't want to cut off the power like that. I believe you can. Can't you? Oh, good. Okay, never mind. Um, I guess you can't do that. Huh. Maybe if I flip it around, maybe if it's being inverted around. Yes? No? No. Yeah, so it has to feed directly into the door, I guess. I thought I could feed into the block, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure with this. Yep, yeah, it can feed directly into the block, as long as it's like nothing like the, um, as long as, like, they don't connect like this. See, you don't want that to happen. Um, and now say you want a lever on it. Say you have, like... Can I have your freaking sheep? Get, go. Good sheep so much. Alright. Say, this is your wall. Just, just pretend. Um... Say you want to be able to close it with ease with only one lever, put it right there, and wait, no, that's wrong. Um, how did I do this last time? Crap. It's not that. Um, there we go. Yeah, I don't know what I did wrong, but... Basically, you would just put it like that above next to the door, so it would automatically open the door and close both. And you have a very simple little iron door, one lever opens both and closes both system. And that's all for my first redstone tutorial. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Wolf, attack the sheep.